Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTechCore. Finally friends, I'm back with the Badrons mobile gameplay test in the Realme Exxon Max device using the spin boat mobile cooling fan. So this is a question which has been requested by a few of my subscribers asking me to perform this kind of test on the Realme Exxon Max. The main reason is because the Realme Exxon Max can play at 90 FPS and this is a spin boat mobile cooler which I did uh, receive today which I did order from the Flipkart website and I did do a couple of videos as well testing with the Android benchmark test and a lot of other things but let's see while playing Badrigan's mobile game can this spin board mobile cooler can keep, can it keep the Realme X on max temperatures really, really low or not because usually when you try to play at 90 fps the temperatures can actually increase up to 40 celsius yes 40 degrees it can actually go up to and during this time i'll try to use a 4g data only only 4G data connection, not Wi-Fi, 4G data because that's also another thing. So using 4G data, I'll try to play the game for about close to maybe one hour of time just to check how is the temperatures and how is the battery of the phone is maintaining. Right now you will be able to see the exact uh, 4G place I'm receiving at this moment and brightness I did set up to 60% brightness, not 50%, 60% brightness. I did select, not bad. And uh, right now I'll be able to connect the earphones i'll try to plug it in into the phone and let me try to set up this kind of spin board cooling fan as well and right now stopwatch has been started and you can see the backside temperature is about close to 33 celsius at the, in the beginning of doing the test 35 degrees and 35 and now i think i should be able to play it uh, 90 fps let me try to turn on the game space as well which i forgot to enable it and you should be see exactly 90 fps right now i was able to get and let me try to connect exactly in this position so just below the power button yes exactly in this kind of position i did connect as you can see without disturbing any kind of volume buttons nothing at all yes i think the volume button is not getting pressed that's not a problem so overall this exact middle position i'm trying to keep friends the uh, as you can see the spin board cooler and this is the one thing which i did like the area is really big one and very soon if possible i'll try to order the realme cooling fan as well realme cooling neo not the actual realme cooling because this is a very small area but anyway so i'm gonna play the barrigan's mobile game for about one hour continuously with the 90 fps only and during this time i'll try to play only the classic match only as i said an angle map continuously non-stop in this device and i did connect the earphones also plugged into the phone and let's see using this kind of mode how well the battery will maintain and how much higher temperatures can actually the phone can reach so if you remember previously I did do plenty of testing with the 90 fps and the phone went up to 40 degrees as well using this kind of uh, 90 fps mode. I just want to check whether this will help any kind of temperatures cool down in the Realme Xon Max device or not. That is what my main motive of testing this kind of uh, video. 35 celsius in the beginning, 30, 36, 35, 36. It's maintaining it on 36. I wish we could have included this kind of uh, spin board exactly in this kind of location, but because of this camera bump, we cannot do that anyway. I'm gonna be back after some time, friends. Just uh, let you know that. I'll let you play the game continuously, and then I can I'll be back after some time. So right now, as you can see, friends, time is about close to 13 minutes of time. So continuously, I did play the classic match, and just now I did shift to the team that match as well. And during this time, the temperatures you can see 38 uh, Celsius only at this moment. Not bad. So it did not go above 38 celsius during this time of gameplay using this realme this kind of a spin board cooling clip on the back side you can see the temperatures around the side of the spin board it's of 34 celsius only it's pretty low as you can see very low not bad overall in terms of the temperatures wise it was able to perform kind of good so maybe the temperatures might be decreasing maybe close to i think uh, three degrees three to five degrees you can actually see the decrease in terms of the temperatures if you try to use a spin board cooling clip so make sure to use my links in description in case if you plan to buy any of the products from the amazon website it's also available right now i'm trying to play only at the 90 fps at this point you can clearly see 90 fps i'm trying to play non-stop using with the 4g data only and it's it doesn't feel much kind of heavy because the product is of close to us 59 grams of weight 57 grams of weight and the phone is about close to 170 170 uh, kind of 173 and 176 grams of weight the phone weight so overall it kind of close to 200 grams if you try to use the cream this kind of spin board cooling clip and if you try to play this can be the overall weight of the device not bad
let me know in the comment section below friends what are other devices you want me to do this kind of similar kind of testing definitely i'll be able to do this kind of testing as soon as possible and temperatures you can see 38 celsius only during this time of testing not bad so 38 celsius exactly and the battery dropped up to 96 percentage so 96 percentage using only the 4g data connection during this pass of testing only using the 4g data only i am trying to play the game so i can be back after exactly 30 minutes of continuously playing the game then we'll be able to understand slightly kind of better results what is happening with the device So right now, as you can see, friends, I've been playing the game for about close to 40 minutes of time overall. And let me try to show you the, exactly the temperatures, how much it got increased. It's about 37 Celsius only, as you can see during this time of testing. So overall, the temperatures I cannot see any kind of huge difference in terms of using the spin board. So I think close to maybe two to three degrees, you can definitely expect low temperatures in the real mix and max. And 90 FPS. Let's check whether 90 FPS I'm getting consistently or not. Yes, I'm getting consistently 90 FPS. Even after playing 40 minutes of time as well, there is no problem at all. And even the battery percentage dropped up to 84 percentage. The battery has been dropped after 40 minutes of playing non-stop. You can clearly see, friends, 40 minutes. So I will be back after maybe getting close to 59 minutes or 55 minutes. Then we can actually discuss what is happening regarding the gameplay. And during this time, I did not notice any kind of major drops or nothing at all. Not no problems regarding the FPS drop or any kind of lag or delay. So uh, I think overall it's a really good accessories, friends. In case if you're a gamer and if you you can definitely buy this one. In case if you're looking, not maybe this one. Maybe because the Realme also launching the Realme Cooling Neo, Cooling Clip Neo, which will be releasing very soon. So stay tuned for those videos. In case if you're interested, definitely as soon as it releases, I'll definitely buy, plan to buy those uh, Realme Cooling Neo as well. Then I'll be able to compare side by side. How is the Realme Cooling Clip is doing? How is this Spin Board Cooling Clip is doing? Side by side, we can actually compare. So then we'll be able to understand better results what is going on. So I'm gonna be back after a couple of minutes of continuously playing the Battle Wings mobile game. So right now, as you can see, friends, I'm trying to play the game continuously for about close to 59 minutes. I think it's kind of close to one hour of time. It's so non-stop. I'm trying to play the game only, Battle Wings mobile game, which is a classic game. And overall, I did see a little bit kind of decrease in the temperatures. It's not increasing much high temperatures. So definitely there is an improvement using this kind of real this kind of uh, spin board cooling clip. So definitely it makes little bit kind of difference when you using the cooling clip and playing the game as well. In fact, I did not notice any kind of lag while playing the game. Not much lag. And I'll try to show you the exactly the temperatures. How much the temperatures can be there in. We got in the phone as well, and right now it's exact one hour of time, and temperature is about close to 38 Celsius. As you can see, 38 Celsius, not bad. So overall, it did not cross above 38. It was every time completely less than 38 Celsius only, and the battery dropped by 74 percentage using only the 4G data with a 74 percentage. So I think it's kind of close to 16 percent is decreased for about uh, one hour of continuously playing. Not 16 percent, sorry, 26 percentage. I think yeah, 26 percent is decreased for one hour of continuously playing the Battle Wings mobile game in the Realme X1 Max device using the 4G data overall. So let me know in the comment section below, friends, what are your thoughts on this one? In case if you want me to do any kind of testing with using with other smartphones, let me know. Definitely, I'll try to do or my best to post the video, even playing with other phones as well regarding the cooling clip and gameplay, just to check how is the temperatures are maintaining. But overall, right now in this real mix and max, this is the temperatures I am trying to see at this moment. Not bad. So nothing much major complaints at this moment. And even the weight of this real this uh, spin board cooling clip is also really less. Not much weight. So which also makes a little bit kind of really good. So let me do. Yep. So let me know in the comment section below, friends, what are your thoughts? And definitely, I'll do my best to post the video as soon as possible uh, while using other devices as well. 
how our other phones are handling in terms of the FPS while uh, using the cooling clip. And overall, let, let me just show you exactly what is the real time FPS meter I'm getting at this moment. It's of close to 90 FPS. So for me, there is no issues with the real time FPS. It's not decreasing uh, to 60. Sometimes some users they did mention that it's decreasing below 60, but it's not decreasing in my case. So that's it friends. Thank you for watching this uh, quick review using the Spinboard cooling clip and it actually makes a lot of difference as well. Let me just show you the temperatures how much it is. As you can see there is a lot of water is going on on the back side. It's about 27 degrees and 26 degrees and the side is about 36. And the si side and between you can see clearly how much difference it's there. You can see some kind of water as well. So it's really working out. I think 10 degrees Celsius difference is there between the place where I placed and the surrounding of the phone as well. And regarding the cooling clip you can see some kind of water as well on the back side. As you can see friends clearly and the temperature is kind of 23 celsius. It's very cold. That's it friends. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video and let's stay for more updates. Meanwhile signing off and bye.